What's up guys, my name's Alex and welcome to the Bug Out Campus YouTube channel. Welcome to episode number four. Today's episode is going to be a super exciting one because we're finally going to get that exoskeleton home and we're going to see this camper trailer take shape. But before we do that, it looks like a bomb has gone off in this workshop. So let's get that tidied up and then we'll crack on into the video. I just want to give a quick unsponsored shout out to this company called Drag Tech. They make these wall racks that hold your drills, grinders. They have a whole bunch of different options on their website for other tools as well. I found them on Facebook Marketplace, but I'll link their website in the description below. I think it's a really affordable and nice looking way to get your tools off the bench and out of the way. Check them out. I just want to take a quick minute to show you guys the wall and floor panels we're going to use on this camper. These panels are coming from a company called Van Glass on Sunshine Coast. And what they are is a fiberglass composite panel. So they're fiberglass, foam, and then fiberglass glued and sandwiched together. Now the colour we're going to go for on the outside of our camper is going to be a dove grey. It's kind of like a nardo grey. And then on the inside it will be sanded down and painted white. Our floor panels are virtually the same thing, just a little bit thinner but more rigid. We'll touch more on these panels in future videos where I'll show you fitting them and getting them all sized up. Uh, but for now, that's just a little bit of a sneak peek for you. And just like that, we've got some space to work. With the price of steel at the moment, I think I've probably picked up about $100 worth of scrap and offcuts. But never mind, let's get into today's video. All right, guys, it is actually the next day here. I got sidetracked doing some other stuff yesterday, so I couldn't keep working on the trailer build. But we just got a call. Uh, with some good news that our exoskeleton is ready to be picked up and test fitted. So I've loaded up the trailer and we'll head over there now. Alright, so it's time for the moment of truth. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited to see this camper start to take shape. I have a bad feeling that the mud guards might be a little bit too tight, so it might not quite fit in there. But that's alright, we'll have a look and we'll adjust from there. Alright, so I pretty much just moved the tripod and the camera to get a better view for you guys. I haven't actually had a good look at it yet, so you'll be getting my first reactions. Let's have a look. Oh damn. That looks good. That looks good. I am stoked. It needs to go forward a little bit. So about there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. That looks nice. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I think it looks amazing. Pretty, uh, pretty nice to see your idea, your drawings, the time, the effort actually, you know, happen in front of you. Pretty, pretty good. Definitely do your own build if you're thinking about it. It's worth it. So I did get a bit of a late start to today. It's already gone dark outside, but it's good to see that exoskeleton on the trailer and finally see it take shape. We'll pick back up tomorrow when it's sunny outside. I'll give you guys a better look and we'll talk through what's coming up next and what the plan is. The exoskeleton isn't quite done, but it's pretty close. So I thought it'd be a good chance to get it on the trailer and finally show you guys this thing take shape. Stick around. Moment truth. Just, I think.
morning guys, it is the next day here. Unfortunately, the day we've been given isn't very great. It's a bit overcast, but that's all right. It's not gonna stop us. I do apologize. There is a bit of road noise going on here. I do live on a pretty busy street, but without further ado, let's have a look at this exoskeleton a bit closer. So our exoskeleton here, which is essentially our camper box, is 2750 long by 1600 wide. It's a total of 1200 high at the back and one meter at the front. Now I think that should be just enough room in the bedroom area for headroom, sitting up, sleeping, and then plenty of space back here in the kitchen. It still affords us good aerodynamics behind your vehicle. And as you saw at the start of the B-roll, it still fits into your garage. Moving around to the back of our exoskeleton now, this is where the kitchen will be. We'll have a top opening door, which will give us some rain and sun cover. It'll be mounted on a hurricane hinge over the top, which should keep it waterproof. And it's gonna go into this gutter that we've built which will have weather seal in there, so we should stay pretty dry inside. Let's talk access to this camper trailer. As you saw in my last video, we unboxed one teardrop door and two windows. The teardrop door will go on this side. In Australia here, we drive on the left-hand side of the road, so the curb is on our left side, and then we'll have one window on either side. Let's quickly talk about these pockets that you guys might be able to see here. So I alluded to it in my first video, but this camper here is going to be completely removable off this trailer, so that you have a multifunctional trailer. It'll be a camper, and then when you need it to be, it can be a dump trailer, a motorbike trailer, a toy hauler, etc. So what this will be, we'll have some legs that'll go into here. It'll jack off just like a canopy does. And then you can leave the actual camper box in your garage or wherever your storage is. And then you can take your trailer and use it as a completely functional trailer on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I showed you guys earlier in the video, the walls we're gonna use for this camper are those fiberglass composite panels. They'll glue on the inside uh, of this exoskeleton that we've built here. We won't use any rivets at this stage because I think the glue and the, the pressure of the walls going together should be enough, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. As I said earlier in the video, this exoskeleton isn't quite done yet. We still have to add some bottom trim piece here, clean up some welds, add a few more welds here and there, but we're getting pretty close. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this exoskeleton back to my mate's house so we can finish it off. And what we're gonna do is brainstorm a way to latch this down and then a way to jack it off. We do have the jack off legs in the garage already, so we just need to work out positioning and whatnot. But at least I got to give you guys a bit of a look at the shape that this camp is gonna be and give you guys a better idea of what we're going for. All right guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Thanks so much for sticking around. As the title of the video says, I am gonna be doing a giveaway that's gonna be at 1,000 subscribers. So what I'll do is I'll choose one name from those 1,000 people to give that giveaway to. Now it's not gonna be anything too crazy. I don't earn any money from these YouTube videos. What it'll be is a bit of a merch pack from my company. Uh, it's gonna be a hat, a t-shirt, stubby cooler, and some stickers. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe so you can get the chance to win that. With all that being said, uh, that's the end of this video. Thanks so much for sticking around. I really hope you guys are enjoying this content and enjoying the build so far. Please, if you have any suggestions, questions, queries, hit me up in the comment section down below. And as always, please subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.